The body of the Chaldean Catholic Archbishop of Mosul in Iraq has been found in a shallow grave two weeks after he was kidnapped. It's not clear what caused the death of the 65-year-old Archbishop Paulus Faraj Raho. After he was seized, mourners attended a funeral for the three men killed during the kidnap. Pope Benedict said in Rome that he was profoundly saddened by what he called an act of inhuman violence. Well, we can speak now to Dr. Sua Rassam, Chowam of Iraqi Christians in Need, a British-based charity aimed at helping displaced Christian Iraqis. Thanks very much for coming in. First, your reaction to today's news. Well, I am shocked and grieved. He was such a good man. Uh, all those who knew him regarded him as an ideal bishop. He was devoted to his people. He was honest and uh, at the service of everybody. And uh, we are very grieved and upset about it. And what do you think uh, his fate says about the life of Iraqi Christians? Well, the situation of the Iraqi Christians had been at stake since uh, very soon after the invasion of 2003 attacks and uh, threats came as early as June 2003 to a church leader. And these were followed by kidnappings of priests, torture, uh, death of at least uh, five uh, religious personnel. Um, Recently, I mean, in Mosul specifically, uh, there has been repeated attacks since uh, June, in June uh, 2007. Uh, Raghid Ganni, uh, a priest from Mosul, was killed with his three deacons. Uh, uh, in October, uh, two priests were kidnapped, and I don't know whether they were some but they were released after about a month. In January this year, five, uh, four churches and a convent has been attacked, and uh, this is um, March, and we have the death, uh, the, you know, the kidnapping mm -hmm. and the death of Bishop Raho. So the situation in Mosul, at least, is getting even more dire for the Christians. And whenever such an attack happens, uh, everybody is, uh, you know, afraid, and mm -hmm. um, and. People don't know really what to do next. I think the world should should react and Is do something about happening? it. Are any steps being taken to, to change the situation? Well, I don't know uh, whether I mean anything short of you know answering or dealing with the political situation will not uh, solve the problem of the Christians uh, who have been leaving the country in droves, uh, stranded in uh, Syria, Jordan, other countries, and they haven't been uh, recognized as uh, refugees. They are only supported by their relatives abroad. No country is coming to their help. Uh, inside Iraq also some has been displaced, an area in Baghdad called Dora, which uh, used to be called the Vatican of Iraq has been emptied of its Christians, and that is a very grave thing. This happened in the summer of 2007, mm -hmm. um, and I don't see what is being done. I mean, the authority just very briefly, has... Just very briefly, what is your group doing to change things? How are you working towards that goal? Well, our group is trying to first raise awareness in Western countries. We feel that it has not been reported. What's happen what has been happening to the Christians and other minorities have not been reported uh, in the general media. I hear about them only in the Catholic press, but not in the you know, usual national media. Uh, we are also trying to help the displaced Christians, whether they are in Syria or in, in Iraq, in whichever way possible to reach uh, these beleaguered uh, people who have lost all their livelihoods and have no hope of anything coming to them. Dr. Rassam, we've got to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for coming in to talk to us about that. Thank you.